want you close Maybe hold your hand a little while Somehow I know You're gonna be the girl that I'll end up calling my own We ride around in style Sleeves rolled up, glasses on And then you make that smile And my heart starts racing When I'm with you YouTube, Steve O Trucker here. I'm sorry about this, it's going to be a bit of a uh, solemn, serious video, but with important messages for drivers and the industry related to the coronavirus and the current situation at the moment. Today's date is the Sunday the 23rd of filming this. And it's just concerns that I've been growing and also hearing from other drivers. And it's like, one of the key things I think there's a massive issue with the industry at the moment is I think they need to start minimising multi-manning of cabs, e.g. just trying to stick one driver to a truck. Or where it can't be helped, they need to start disinfecting before and after work and providing the implements to do that. But I don't feel that's going on at all. And it... And what I'm saying that is if this outbreak gets in amongst the drivers, and especially in companies where they do have a lot of chop and changing drivers in cabs and all that, and and this is probably more potent in like the food delivery end and all that, you know, you can probably see issues coming up. I'm not saying no company isn't taking action, but I've been hearing lots of reports of fellow drivers, and from what I've seen as well, you know, very questionable. There's also been reports, and I can even testify to this, of going onto customer sites, using certain equipment that we all as drivers who go on those sites have to use. So like the way bridge, weighing yourself in on wet, weigh yourself in sites, you're having to use the way bridge computers. There's been no sanitization provided at those sites or anything like that. At lots of sites I've seen, even though when you go to other parts of those same sites, they have implemented certain other protections, but really for the, the main workforce. But whereas truck drivers are coming in, kind of ignored. Also, a bit like at the ports, I've been hearing issues at booking in systems there where you have to do your fingerprinting, like I think at Felix, there is one that they've not been providing any sanitization at all, no information on the corona at all, no inf you know, not even like a post it on the machines saying, you know, wash your hands after or before. Uh, it doesn't seem that the machines are being wiped down either, apparently. You know, and this isn't to try and get anybody in trouble, this it's just to try and bring some improvements in to protect us drivers. The other thing I would like to say, a massive word to us drivers, I'm sure we're all doing this, is wash your hands as often as you can. It's Clean your hands as often. Have some hand sanitizer with you. Baby wipes. Do what you can. And obviously try and protect yourself where you can. So if you are hopping into lots of different trucks, clean the truck down before you get in. Clean the handles. Clean the steering wheel. Clean everything you're going to interact or potentially interact with on the truck and the surfaces. We need to be doing that. And it's a big must. And as I highlighted earlier in the video, the problem is if it gets in amongst drivers and affects a massive bunch of us, the industry could just come to halt just because of this disease. And if that happens, it's not good. It's not good. So I feel as an industry, we need to be doing more to protect our drivers and to inform our drivers of what they're implementing in, what measures, reassurance coming down from companies saying, look, you know, this is the score if you do feel ill, this is the implementations we're putting in to protect you from this virus or procedures. We're giving you certain equipment to wipe down your trucks before you go in. You know, stuff like that I would like to be seeing going on. You know, even if it's just reassurance. But also, I would like to see some practical measures put in to minimise risks to drivers. Also, there is concern, obviously, with us drivers being essential. We're non-stop, we're out in the week still. We still want to have some access to some facilities at the end of the day. 
but at the same time it needs to be fair on the staff of these facilities and as drivers to minimise both sides of the risk for both ends of the you know so like at petrol stations and all that access to toilets is another major issue that's been cropping up there's been plenty of reports coming out of RDCs and similar other places banning drivers from using the toilet so how are you meant to wash your hands you know and surely we should have access to a toilet you know I know that is illegal by the way as well so but yes, it's been going on. There's been plenty of stuff come out. There was even a Guardian article that came out the other day that covered this. But it is issues, and it's issues that need to be looked at quick and fast. I'm not calling for anybody to get in trouble here. I'm just calling for some common sense, some, you know, applied logic. And as I said, I'm sure as drivers are doing the right thing and minimising our risks. But where possible, wash your hands, sanitise the surfaces you're working on, be wary where you get out, and also when you get in, clean yourself, you know, hand sanitise clean. When you do pop into facilities, wash your hands and leave hot water for over 20 seconds, I would say at least 30 to 40 seconds really. You know, minimise everything. When I'd be going into places, I'd be washing my hands, if there's been hand sanitised that I normally get a big scoop of that in my hand so I want to go through all the doors to get out quickly clean my hands simple minimize it you know absolutely minimize risk but carry on doing the essential work you know we are all very important if our industry stops everything stops I'm not here to cause alarm panic don't panic don't be alarmed just do the right thing if you can, please share this on Facebook or any other means, try and get word out there, you know, because at the end of the day, all I'm trying to do with this video is to bring some awareness amongst the driving community and outside the driving community, if possible, of some of the issues, to try and address the issues where possible, and for companies to look at the risks to their drivers and provide any any suitable measures or to inform other companies that they do work for to improve their procedures. And I do apologise if this is quite a solemn video, quite serious. It is what it is. And I just feel it just needs to be put across straight, direct, nip it in the bud. That aside, Thank you very much for watching. If you like my content, please come and subscribe to my channel for future trucking content. Also, check out my Facebook, Instagram, and all that. Hopefully, we can have some more positive videos coming up. As I said, this is more of a video to address some issues I've been witnessing. I'm sure there's been other issues as well. If you are a driver and you've noticed more other issues, just comment down below. Just comment down below to say where it was, what the issue is, if you have a common sense solution to it at the bottom as well. It always helps if you can aid in how to improve the issue, as they would say. Because we all have a responsibility, but at the same time, our employers and companies we collect and deliver to all have responsibility as well to provide a safe work environment at the end of the day. So yet again, I'd like to say a massive thank you to everybody and uh, to any companies that may see this video, thank you very much for watching this and hopefully you take note and we'll have some positive uh, improvements. So yet again, thank you very much. I will see you in the next one. Met him on a sunny Goodbye. day in late July and everything turned upside down. I almost lost track of time as weeks went by I couldn't get him off my mind I told him I want that great love Like standing in the middle of a bonfire Don't know how you got there but you hold tight Knowing that you can't get burned Just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other I honestly don't know And tell me how we messed up Drifting away from each other Didn't wanna let you go Carry on on your own Ever since I got a good look in his eyes 
I just knew that he was special He said he wanna take it slow But I couldn't help that I wanted to take it to the next level Cause I wanted that great love Like standing in the middle of a bonfire Don't know how you got there but you hold tight Knowing that you can't get burned Just tell me how we lost track of everything but each other I honestly don't know Everything turned upside down I almost lost track of time As weeks went by I couldn't get him off my mind mm -hmm. I couldn't get him off my mind 